Assalamu alaikum. Today we're solving questions from chapter 4. The question reads, a particle's initial position vector, ri, equals 10i hat minus 12j hat plus 4k hat. And 10 seconds later, its position, r, equal minus 4i hat, 16j hat minus 4k hat. Find the average velocity, or v average, during the 10 seconds in interval. So, in order to find the v average, the v average or average velocity is divided as change in displacement or displacement delta r divided by delta t. And delta r is r final position, final position minus initial position over t final minus t initial. Now I can find displacement or delta r which is r final minus r initial by subtracting the two positions that the particle had. So the r final is minus 4 i hat plus 16 j hat minus 4 k hat minus the initial position which is 10 i hat minus 12 j hat plus 4 k hat. And now I subtract, I can add or subtract the i hat to the i hat, j hat with the j hat, and k hat with the k hat. So minus 4 i hat minus 10 i hat is minus 14 i hat. And 16 j hat plus 12 j hat, because of the minus sign, it would be plus. So it will be plus 28 j hat and minus 4 k hat minus 4 k hat because of the minus sign. It's minus 8 k hat. Now I can substitute in the v average equation. So v average or average velocity equals delta r over delta t. And I know that my delta t is 10, 10 minus 0 or 10, and then minus 14, this is delta R, minus 14 I hat, plus 28 J hat, minus 8 K hat, which means I divide each component by 10, minus 14 by 10, I hat, plus 28 by 10 J hat, minus 8 by 10 K hat. And this concludes the answer of this question. Thank you. Assalamu okay. alaikum. Today we're solving questions from chapter 4. The question reads, a particle's initial position vector, ri, equals 10i hat minus 12j hat plus 4k hat. And 10 seconds later, its position, r, equal minus 4i hat, 16j hat minus 4k hat. Find the average velocity or v average during the 10 seconds in interval. So, in order to find the v average, the v average or average velocity is divided as change in displacement or displacement delta r divided by delta t. And delta r is r final position, final position minus initial position over t final minus t initial. Now I can find displacement or delta r which is r final minus r initial by subtracting the two positions that the particle had. So the r final is minus 4 i hat plus 16 j hat minus 4 k hat minus the initial position, which is 10 i hat minus 12 j hat plus 4 k hat. And now I subtract, I can add or subtract the i hat to the i hat, j hat with the j hat, and k hat with the k hat. So minus 4 i hat minus 10 i hat is minus 14 i hat. And 16 j hat plus 
12 j hat because of the minus sign it will be plus so it will be plus 28 j hat and minus 4 k hat minus 4 k hat because of the minus sign it's minus 8 k hat now i can substitute in the v average equation so v average or average velocity equals delta r over delta t and i know that my delta t is 10 10 minus 0 or 10 and then minus 14 this is delta r minus 14 i hat plus 28 j hat minus 8 k hat which means i divide each component by 10 minus 14 by 10 i hat plus 28 by 10 j hat minus 8 by 10 k hat and this concludes the answer of this question thank you Assalamu alaikum. Today we're solving questions from chapter 4. The question reads, a particle starts from the origin of an xy plane. Its acceleration is a 2i hat plus 4j hat meters per second square. At time t equals 0, the velocity is minus 4i hat meters per second. What is the particle's velocity if the y component of its displacement is plus 18 meters. So this is basically a typical question on motion in two dimensions where I have an acceleration vector that has two components, AX and AY, and I have a velocity, initial velocity vector that has a two components also. The I component is minus four, the J component is zero. And I have also displacement vector only given in the equation is the y component of the displacement vector. So in order to solve this question, I need to know if it's a constant acceleration. I can tell by the acceleration given that it is a constant acceleration, which means it does not depend on time. It doesn't change with time. So this is a, here I can apply equations of motion. So to put the info in the question here, we can say that A acceleration is 2 i hat, plus 4 j hat meters per second square and v initial given is minus 4 i hat meters per second and delta r or change in displacement equal delta x i hat the displacement plus delta y j hat of course i know here the y displacement which is 18 so i can replace this with the actual value of the y displacement which is 18 so then to find the velocity whenever i have the y displacement equal 18 then if i to use the equations of motion if i use the equation for example y minus y0 equal v naught y t plus half a y t square this is the equation of motion in the y coordinate and the reason i'm using the beginning uh, started with the y coordinate because i have the information on the displacement along the y coordinate and i have the initial velocity along the y which doesn't appear here which is zero and i have even the y acceleration so this acceleration is a x i hat plus a y j hat so i have the y component of the uh, acceleration. So I can use this equation comfortably. So y minus y0, this is 18, equal, and the v naught y is 0, multiplied by t, plus half a y component, so the a y component is 4, multiplied by t square, which is unknown, I don't know, now, I can utilize this to get the time that I should substitute for to find the final velocity. So this will be 18 equals 2 t squares, which means that t square will be 18 divided by 2. This will give that t will be 
square root of 9, which is plus or minus 3 seconds. And I can exclude the negative time, not physically possible answer. So the time taken to go to this displacement for the particle, displacement of 18 along the y component, is it three seconds? Now I can use this complete info to find the final velocity. So v final x equal v naught x plus a x t, and v final y equal v naught y plus a y t. Now I know the initials, and I know the acceleration, and I know the time, so it will be v naught x is given, or v initial, is minus 4 plus ax, or the x component of acceleration, is 2. And the time is unified, is it 3 seconds. So this will be minus 4 plus 6 equals 2. And this is the x, so 2 meters per second. And for the y, v naught y is 0. So the initial component of the uh, uh, velocity is zero plus the acceleration along the y is four and the time is also unified is a three so equals zero plus twelve so it's twelve meters per second now I can write my equation because I'm he asked for the velocity so velocity final will equal v final x i hat plus v final y j hat which means 2 i hat plus 12 j hat all in the units of meters per second and this concludes the answer thank you